the next Hell Halftime Report, Jim Nance with you from our NFL Today studios, along with Mike Ditka, Randy Cross, Jerry Glanville, and some big-time offenses have stalled so far today. No touchdowns on this one, but there are some other unbelievable scenarios already. How about this game, Jerry? Been watching it? Well, both defenses look like they're playing real good football. As you keep watching it, maybe both offenses aren't very good. I, I think the offenses are way behind both defenses. All right, let's go around the league. Okay, here we go. First up, the Colts and the Jets. This is the most explosive game so far. Thanks in a large part to Edger and James. Look at this, Mike Dicka. Look at his numbers, 95. Well, Edger's like just came up and puts it on his shoulders, and then when he's not doing it, Peyton Manning's doing it. But watch the first run here. Boom, he's out. He busts the tackle out on the outside. Bang, makes somebody miss. Right there, and he's done. Well, led the league in rushing last year, but never had a run longer than 30. That was 29 on the touch. Well, watch this play right here. Marvin Jones makes a great play, gets a deflection intercepted. Brings it back, doesn't put it away. It ends up back in Peyton Manning's hands. It led to a one-yard Edger and James touchdown run, but then here comes New York. Great run, Curtis Martin. Great effort. I mean, this guy's doing all he can to help this football team win. But just a moment ago, Peyton Manning's first touchdown pass of the season. And yes, Jerome Payton pulls it in. And the Colts lead in that one at New York in the Herman Edwards debut as the Jets coach. It is 24-14. Uh, Meanwhile, the Patriots and the Bengals about to begin the second half, all tied at 10 in that one. Both quarterbacks are throwing completed passes. They keep catching the ball, but there's no yardage. There's no yardage and very few points. Bledsoe to Brown for a touchdown, 14-yard hookup. And then Corey Dillon for the Bengals up the middle. And that game tied 10-10. Meanwhile, New Orleans and Buffalo. How about the Saints? People saying this is a high-charged offense. Nothing doing in this one. The Bills lead at 6-0. I mean, they can't make first downs. They can't. They, they're, they're third and out every time. And Ricky Williams, four carries, five yards. Oh, wow. The Chiefs strike right away. Dick Vermeule's return here. Randy, what a performance by the Chiefs at our head. Well, the very first pass to Jerry Rice from Rich Gannon, the fourth play of the game. Coincidentally, the fourth pass for the Raiders, the number one rushing team last year. Warfield intercepts that, takes it all the way back. The emotion, we talked about in the pregame show, the emotion is on the side of the Chiefs. And when you have emotion, usually you run the ball well. Tony Richardson right there brings it in to give him a 14-6 lead. Dick Vermeil's got his boys pumped. Meanwhile, Pittsburgh down at Jacksonville. The Jackson won five straight openers. And Mark Brunel sizzling three touchdown passes, two of them to Jimmy Smith. How about the Bears blanking the Baltimore Ravens until the final seconds of the half when Stover finally got them on the board with a field goal. But the Bears have held the Ravens to only 37 yards offense. And Carolina shutting down the Vikings. So far, Randy Moss, no catches. The Vikings have a shocker down early 10-0 right before the half. Tampa Bay and the Cowboys. And the Cowboys in it spent five attempts, minus six yards. But uh, the Bucks and the Cowboys all even at three. Big game by Amon Green, best player of the day at this point, with 133 yards rushing and two touchdowns to put the Packers way in front. When we come back, a preview of the men's final of the U.S. Open.